welcome back to the channel. I got another review for you guys today. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe so you can watch some of my other videos. There's you just never know what you're gonna find on this channel. From pogo sticking, one of my kids do for a video. Another one's one of my kids is working on another video that he wants to do. You'll see the youngest one helping me from time to time in the videos. We just cut down a tree and he's in that one trying to rip apart a stump while I'm finishing cutting up the rest of the tree. <clears throat> so I, I bought this at Arbor Freight for about 20 bucks. Uh, we're going to see how it does. I got a cabinet. It's one of the bigger projects you're going to want to do with this. Not because of how big the spray pattern is because I'm guessing they're all pretty close to the same size unless you go really big ones but just the container how much it holds it only holds four ounces of material um, the material I'm gonna be using today is three parts this this polyurethane fast drying and one part of mineral spirits and we'll put it in the cup and we'll start spraying um, it's going to be one of those NyQuil measuring containers. It'll be good enough. So you, that's that's the parts I'm using. Three, three of those cups of this. One of those cups to this. Okay. And <clears throat> we'll see if it does most of that cabinet, which I think it will, with a spray gun. So. This is the spray gun. It's just an adjustable mini detail spray gun. Like I said, I got it from Harbor Freight for about 20 bucks. <clears throat> so we're gonna we're gonna use this one. I got an air compressor with this with this gun you need at least three three CFM with at 50 psi is what it says on the box. So I already read the instructions. I got my air compressor set up for it. So let's just jump into it, start spraying. All right, I did a three to one mixture of mineral spirits and the poly. So, well, first of all, it starts dripping right away. You guys see that? Dripping right there. Let's see if I can get... There's a... I noticed there was a small wrench in here before. So one thing you can't set it down, it'll leak right out the top, so it is one little thing I guess. It's a aluminum handle, so I don't know if how much to crank on there before all of a sudden she's gonna all of a sudden not do anything. Not a very good little wrench, but again, it's from Harbor Freight. All right, I'm just gonna start with the back here. I think it stopped, but by now my hand's completely coated. I don't know, let's try. Maybe we can empty this thing out. This is the back of the cabinet, so this part I don't don't need to worry about too much. I don't know, it does work 
actually pretty nice. I've never used a spray gun before, but that's all right. I'm gonna try here on the side. This side won't be seen either. Whoa! Yep. Turn her all the way back down. It does work kind of nice. I just wish it didn't leak. I don't know. Maybe we can get that fixed. So we'll take. Bring you over here. This side will be seen. I got a leak in my arrows too. Let's see how much we went through already. We went through about half of what I started with. But that's, again, me learning. I think I went a little heavy on the back. Uh, not too bad. I mean, I just might have to work on my air gun a little bit, but it does seem to be going all right. We'll go back to the top. It does a nice even spray on there. I mean, the fluid flow pin is cranked tight. It's not open. So this is the bottom now. The only part of this is really going to be seen is that side and the, the face and the inside, the top of the inside. Other than that, ceiling, bottom or top of the other cabinet, wall, face, face. So I got a lot of practice I can do on this for big flat surfaces. I shut you off while my air compressor finished, but uh, it's not using a lot of fluid, which is nice. It's so we'll start again. Like I said, this is the top. This will be against the ceiling. This, of course, is all sanded down to 220. I'm trying to keep my nozzle as straight as possible with it, but I'm trying not to stay out of your guys' way. It does look, does do a quite a good job. I mean, it's probably more operator error than anything. this face and this face so trying to use up what I got in the gun Probably right here, guys. Way aren't I? Ah. 
I'll take you for a closer up. Whew. Should have bought a mask too. Have to invest in a spray mask. thing about the top can here is you can twist it and if you do twist it it loosens up the screw but if you're down like this you can keep that can straight a little bit yeah so I just ran out we're going to unhook that get rid of that leaky thing but just so you guys know I did this is one of those medicine cups you get on top of a, a NyQuil. That's what I use. I use one part mineral spirits, two parts of the poly of this. And it uh, made a little bit more than what this bowl can hold. What is this? This is 30 milliliters. I don't know. I don't read anything else on there. So it's, uh, what, 390, 120 milliliters. And it covered this. I did the inside, the face. Now I just got to wait three hours before I can do it again. Final thoughts. After using the spray gun, the Central Pneumatic Professional Adjustable Mini Detail Spray Gun, I'd give it a thumbs up. Easily. For 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. I'd say this is the biggest thing you're going to be able to do on it. <clears throat> but you'd be able to do lots of small things with it. Uh, what Small woodworker like me, I, I don't do big cabinets. But I do my little can wooden can koozies cribbage boards, that type of thing. It'll work great. I just got to make sure I have enough of them to spray before I get doing it. <clears throat> because it takes you probably 15 minutes just to clean the gun. So I'll pull it on and be done. And then spend 15 minutes cleaning it. It's not going to be worth it. It'd unfortunately be faster to use the spray can. Because it can stay in the spray can, open up the can, pss, 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 pss. Put the pan, can away. <clears throat> but I'll definitely continue using it. It uh, one thing I didn't like is purple. I wish it would have had something other than purple, but I did not see them there <clears throat> when I looked at them. I'm not a purple guy. The color is called pink. It's not called salmon. I'm man enough to call it pink. I don't want to wear pink. It just doesn't bring out the brown of my eyes. So, I don't wear pink. I don't wear salmon either. <clears throat> I'm not a fisherman. Actually, I do a lot of fishing. I do no catching. <clears throat> so, five stars on the little spray gun. I did get that little drip to stop. Um, if you remember, I was having a drip right here. It did stop, but not till I did the second coat because after the first coat, I took it apart, cleaned it, and put it back together, and then it didn't drip. So I don't know <clears throat> if, I mean, I cranked it down as hard as I really wanted to because it is aluminum. I did not want to strip out the threads or anything, but I did take this out, this out, this out, the little nozzle in here, the needle that runs... The full length in here that you can see part of the needle right between the nut and that trigger it did good it was easy to clean um 
they send you two little tools. But I highly recommend getting um, that little three set of wire brushes, those little ones from Harbor Freight too. It just made it a whole lot easier to clean some of the parts that you could take out like this. You know, you got junk around these threads. It cleaned it up a whole lot faster than that brush did. But I would use the brass one, not the steel one, just because brass is a little softer. But you do what you want. I'm just letting you know what I do. I'm no professional. This is my first time spraying um, wood. So <clears throat> there you go. You got my review on another Harbor Freight tool for 20 bucks. Go get it. But before you do, make sure you subscribe so you get the next video. Leave a comment. And if you got some tips for me on how to spray, maybe you've seen me doing something wrong, please leave it below. I'm not a professional at this. I'm not claiming to be a professional at this. But it was fun learning. Right? It'll be con I'll continue to using it. it. It leaves a very nice sheen. It leaves it. Once I figure it out, it does a very nice job. So, see ya.